here at the moment and um, we're just going to look from the outside looking in on the deck and you can see it's a nice nice big home there and whatever and there's, a, there's the deck surrounding and there's the retaining wall we're putting in for the certifiers so actually before we started this we had to get the architectural drawings done and um, what the first thing they do is do a soils test so the soils engineers will come out and they'll do some probes around the um, area where you're going to build. And there's that damn boat going past pretty quick there. But anyway, um, what the soils engineers will do, they'll come down and they'll give their engineering results to the engineer. And it's, in this case, they um, said the soil was very soft because it's actually right on the river. And as I said before, we had to put in uh, screw piers. Now, the screw piers, um, we're estimated by the engineers to go down nine metres, and as I've told you, the shallowest one was 17 and the deepest one was 27. And there was a cost overrun there in the job, um, but the clients had to fork out and um, they weren't too happy, but you know, it had to be done. Otherwise, this, this wouldn't stand up. And if you look around, if I pan around these surrounding houses, you can see all the brickwork and stuff and jetties and everything on these houses um, that surround it. They're all, it's all broken and cracked and everything. That's because it hasn't been uh, done by soils engineers and soil sets. So anyway, that's a bit of that. So we'll go and have a look. And what happens next is the architect, he does all the designs and maybe works with the clients until they get it the way they want it. And we we'll just go in here. This is the boys have been doing. Now, this retaining wall is put in so we keep the soil a, a metre. So if it wasn't a metre, um, above the deck was a metre above uh, soils. Anything below that uh, requires a handrail for the building code. So what we're trying to get is the owner doesn't want to build, put a handrail around it. So we're building it up so that you only get a metre. So it kind of takes a bit of a curve there. You can see where it goes down around here and down that side and backs up. So there's the edges of the deck. I'll have you there. It comes around and uh, Go around this side here. So the deck kind of curves around here with the paving. Comes up around the back here. The nice uh, tiled steps up into there, and this is under the spa. And pan around there, and the, how the deck follows the pool around. So that's a very intricate piece of carpentry there. You got to it's cut right into the into the side of the way that the deck curves and the pool curves. I'm sorry. Goes right around there like that. So, and here we go, we've got a, a spa, there's the spa, it's all incorporated in the one. Looks very nice, all done there. There's our curve, and there's a, another little puppy dog. But there's our curved wall from this side. Just hope the sun's going to be alright for us. So we'll walk around and we'll have a look at the other side. Um, and you can see how it's all beautiful straight lines through there with the decking. Everything's all cut into the deck and whatever around here. So and we'll look right around. You can see up on the house and it's beautiful. They sit out there in the nice hot summer's nights, you know, have a cup of cold beers or whatever you do. It looks really nice. That down there, that's the, uh, the old boat shed that doesn't get used now. And so we come around this side. This is the only one of this here in the corner, so they could just sit up here and uh, plonk a stubby on it or have a couple of beers, and that's what he wanted. How he wanted it, so it's like a dry bar type thing. So he uses that. Now on this side, you've got the same thing. So you start from virtually zero and work our way through there, fill it up so it's a metre. That way, you don't put the ballast roads around and the certifiers will like, okay it. So, and then we spin around here. This part here is still not complete. It's got to be tiled. That bit of concrete there from there. And up there you'll see that's the staircase we built to come down the side. And a bit of garden on the left-hand side. Now, there's your curved wall here with the glass balustrade. Now, this type of balustrading is uh, it's a new type that's been used in.
Say hello, Bobette. <laughs> okay, so we go up here, and we'll go for a walk up the top again quickly. And there's this bar there, nice little spot to be sitting on a hot, a hot summer's night. And a glass of bubbly. And then we go up these final steps, come to the top here. And here's your glass balustrade coming that way. Goes right, wraps around the back. And that's all conforming with regulations. Don't want anybody falling off the side. Little kids can't climb over and get into the pool and what have you. Um, so we come, we'll come along and we'll have a look. This is the, the top part of the deck here. Have a look. And you can see I showed this trap door was open the other day. It's so you can get into the pool and, and, uh, and change, put some of the pool pump and you can change anything in there that you, you want to change. It's just a matter of, it's on a, on a hinge, so it's just a matter of uh, pulling it up and doing whatever you've got to do. So, a bit of a view from up here. So, we'll have a bit of a pan around the top, look at the bottom of the deck, see how it spins around. So, it took quite a while to build this because the site was very, very rough and hard to get to. We couldn't get timber down, we had to lug it all down by hand and what have you. But the end result is turned out very, very, very nice. The owners are very happy with it. So it's a very beautiful spot here, as you can see. And um, we'll have a, just have a quick look at these stairs. There you go. The stairs coming down that way. There's Bobette again, walking up. Now, yeah, we're looking here. It's just on the side, there's another, another door there, you can see it, there it is there, you, this one opens up as well so you can get into the uh, pool pump, so it's all kind of built together and blends in with the rest of it, and when you get down the bottom of the stairs, you can hit that in the pool, and there's a good look of the curve in the wall, as you can see there, so he's all right to go, so anyway. That's another look at the deck at uh, Carrara and uh, we'll be back to you later. We'll go up and see how Fernando's going with his tiling. See you then.